Sunday traffic in Conception Bay South was brisk, but once we'd arrived at Holyrood's famous tea garden, all was well. In its secluded locale off the main road, the old mansion house looked as welcoming as it did before it closed over two years ago. The well-maintained hilltop home is the focal point of a rambling property with green gardens that, on our visit, displayed the liveliness and the color you'd expect on a brilliantly sunny, warm summer afternoon. Devotees are delighted the tea garden's doors are open to paying customers once again. Both dining rooms are organized and ready to receive those in the mood for a meal in an elegant setting with a superb view of the well-protected Holyrood Harbor. Afternoon tea and sweets can be taken in the home's traditional lounge, if sitting soft is your preference. Deck dining was our choice and it soon became obvious that we had chosen well. Feeling the warm breeze and tasting the fresh air while enjoying the entertainment of watching jet skis speeding across the blue water was fun and relaxing. Chef Sean Halley's French onion soup was an excellent beginning to our laid-back lunch. It arrived in those popular ceramic bowls with handle and was kept hot by a tight lid of toasted croutons and melted mozzarella cheese. Underneath rye and white croutons was dark beef-flavored broth brimming with sliced onions, making no doubt that this was indeed onion soup. Onion being the great taste giver in cooking, it's hard to imagine a soup having more honest flavor. Halley's was perfect. Naming a salad summer salad creates an image of firm leafy greens and rainbow colors. The tea gardens had the advantage of also being dressed in a flavorful vinaigrette, employing a melange of local berries. The cheerful chaos featured mesclun, grape tomatoes, red onion, English cucumber, and shredded carrot. Cod that tasted as if it had just been taken from the ocean was served pan-fried. Crisp fried Newfoundland pork scrunchions by the dozens gave the fish accent. Experiencing the tea garden's cod reminded me of the words, cod is king. The royal fish would certainly please the palate of royals and non-royals alike. A Dickensian, and by that I mean good, Christmas-style plate followed the cod. Roast turkey dinner with all the trimmings, a pickwick, a cratchit, or a fezziwig would have pronounced it an admirable feast indeed. Tender, moist slices of white and dark turkey covered in pan gravy were joined by bread stuffing, mashed potato cloaked in more gravy, carrots, turnip, and turnip greens, a surprise treat. This was the quintessential Newfoundland home-cooked Sunday meal in all its delicious glory. A sticky toffee pudding followed the roast turkey dinner. No other dessert would have sufficed. Brown sugar, butter, flour, and eggs can make a formidable pudding in the hands of a skilled cook. Dollops of fresh whipped cream crowned the invention, which despite rich ingredients, was relatively light in texture and taste. Clearly, the tea garden has a talented and versatile kitchen. Winning food and winning service made the visit to the Tea Garden in Holyrood one of the best dining out experiences this year. So much so that I can't wait to return to that charming house on the hill. The Tea Garden of Holyrood receives four out of four stars. Lunch with wine, tax, and tip costs approximately $100. For reservations, call 229-7376.